Hello, welcome back. Let me get in there now. Welcome back to the control. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, I will be looking for the containment place. What the hell? To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky, no sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is so resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Okay, so something made over this? Or someone really doesn't like him? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Something here. I'm really looking for someone who can help someone. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on the bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technolog technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any blank signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even these are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural blank for the oldest house to blank them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. That's one way to imply novel cell phones at work policy. Oh, oh that's the radio. Yeah, it's just music though. If it had some no, audio lock on it, bloody, listen to them. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for three weeks now. Worked my ass off in the Islamabad, Islamabad <laughs> station for three years. I've earned the right to a new nice workplace. Shit there. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. That sounds like. <clears throat> Very serious issue. Ooh, another orange one. Do we have anything new for this? Accuracy, rate of fire. This does what? Accuracy. Hmm. Accuracy plus eleven. Accuracy plus eleven. I don't understand that. No. Oh my god. I want. Fuck. I really wanted to equip it and I, instead I destroyed it. Hell yeah. I will display this one though. Don't energy cost, no, that's nice. Right, activate energy. I'll display this one. Damn it. Have those. I don't have anything. No. In executive sector, well, we can just get, get out of here. And. Something done. No, there's nothing over here, though. Hmm. I'm honestly lost. Okay, we have another house memory. It's nice. What one? Find anything interesting? No, not really. I was looking for Irish, but I didn't find him. Oh, oh! Wait. So we didn't hear. Hello? 
Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the blank arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by blank detection of an unobstructed pane using the blank within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctions or blank or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are sus susceptible for, to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. It's controlled, is a word. Okay, he's alive. What the hell? Why are you guys in here? No, 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 no! Why would I close it? What? I thought Polaris wanted something. Yeah, I think I will go to the cafeteria. Oh, and the audio lock? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Where? Where is it? Oh, I don't know. The radio, and that's pretty much it. Road efficiency, thank you for that. Okay, thank you. The America Overnight program has operated successfully for over blank years, originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America. It has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranormal. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of Blank and Blank in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigations sector have catalogued and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more blank results of Night Springs have also been catalogued in a separate report. Okay. Oh, this is the jukebox. I guess we can get in. Will we get to use it? At least we know where it is. That's something. Somebody took the RPG. Oh, Marshall's gonna kill me. And I can help you with that. Wait, did I miss him or what? Did I do him? Is he over there? No, that's not him. I have no idea where that guy went. Oh, just roam around. Okay. 
What the? Sorry? Need to kill more of them. What the? Something. Uh, what are my ambitions? <laughs> using charge, uh, using spin. spin. As much as possible. And we can't go over here. Nope, definitely not. Interesting. Okay. Okay, it just takes a lot. I heard someone spawning next to me. That's why I out of the box. Six more. Okay, over there. Really? You just moved. Oh my. Oh my shots. You see it? Oh. Oh, I'm quite sure you can see it. And we can't really do anything about that. That doesn't seem to work. Or does it? Nope. Nope, I nope. can't really die there. Whoa, I don't know which one it was. Sorry. Oh, I think this was this one. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Blank deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the em embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been blank. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for blank minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy was staff were transported to the continental US. After Formula 1, 9 was recited. After Formula 1.9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identif identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the bureau for examination. So I guess that's caused after being brought here. Where is the guy? Over there! What the hell? Don't you dare. Hmm. This is dead letters. Hmm. What? Oh, how oh, did I not know before? I had the dream that I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God. But not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's but a machine instead. 
God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I have to use the dialing plate on God. That's actually creepy. Some level to clear the door, okay. Use that. Q. Dear New York Tribune, airplanes aren't real. I figure out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the air. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. Okay. Something else that we can open doesn't look like it. The noise, the crystal vibrating. By the way, board countermeasures. Collect reward. Thank you. Now I know to press enter after doing that. Kill enemies in the executive center of headshot. And that's not gonna happen. Your heads are stored in the executive sector. Hmm. Give me that. Okay, and let's see. Where the hell can we go? Maybe to executive affairs? No, this is where we started. <laughs> There's something we haven't visited. There's something we haven't visited. They tell me where the... Where I'm supposed to go? I don't really see any. We can't get through Ashtray, Ashtray Maze yet. We've been here somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> hmm. I have no idea what to do now. Because it tells me just to. Mission just tells me to. What brother? Jesse goes to the container center to find the Panopticon where Dylan is held. Okay, where? I would rather do that. <laughs> really? We need to go somewhere in the research. Oh god. Oh god, we don't know where. What is that? Okay, to, uh, look at Dr. Underhill below central research. Okay, we can do that. We surely can do that. Central research. Thank you. <laughs> okay, how much below did you need? Central research is somewhere there. There's a shelter. I think it's been. Oh my god, no. And there's that shit as well. That's an there's another one. I hate you. I honestly do. What's your cheater? You stop it. Let's 
sweet, sweet health. Infinite. Huzzah. No. That was close. Way down there. No. The pit. Maybe this is the place. Okay, okay, and this? Friends? Careful in there, ma'am. Area's under quarantine. No one there. Where the hell am I? We can go through, don't worry. Excuse me. Are you lost? Oh, Hunger Hill! Ah, I passed the person I was looking for. Summer. Do you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms, similar in appearance to blank, construct, of the construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are the original dissemination disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source of mold one. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is truly uh, ingenu ingenuous little thing. Okay, she's crazy. She's actually crazy. Hello, Raya. How is it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life at the old FBC? I also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, extremely intuitive, but I want to hear what you thought of her. I think it could be very good on a project together, could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry about the interruption, I'm sure you can't think of anything beside the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus, I always admired that about you. Talk soon. Okay, I won't open that just yet. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Blank contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mole is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the world of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, 
The mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the plan creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be de derived into blank. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I paused to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Anything else? Because I can't really... Hmm... Read anymore. Okay. Hello! Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. And these samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need. Here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Okay. Oh, let's talk. Mm. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size. Simply staggering! So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? No, it's totally not weird, okay? Anyone can be excited about fungus in the world. Who they composed? <laughs> what do you know about the Hiss? How would I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. Okay, so I guess this is the end I of this. I need to get going. Trying to transport any spores mm. outside the infected areas. Or I don't know. I'm sure. Okay. Ghosts mm. fresh corpses. Goes near toilet. Goes near. It smells so sweet down here. Suddenly, I'm really hungry. 
I guess we don't need that. Why would you want the white pellet paste? Are those people? Whoa. What the fuck? They are tough people. Yes, anything is good. Oh, no worries. Seems. Oh, it gives back. I tried. Oh, we are not dead. We'll go down here. Okay. Never mind. And we don't have the control point anywhere near. Okay. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.